That wind been blowing on us all season. It's been blowing all season. You got to know how to silence the wind. Let me tell you what the wind is. The wind is distraction. This thing is trying to get you off your goal. It's trying to move you in a different direction. What you got to do to silence it, you got to focus on where you're going. We already said where we're going. We already said when you type into your iPad, that's what we said we was going. The next one is you got to know what's inside of you. And greater is inside of you than it's what's in front of you. So let's go, man. Dominate on me. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Well, look who the wind blew into oh, studio, yeah. Javario come on, Davis. Come on, come on. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, wow. What is going oh, on? Oh, my God. This is Saints linebacker. That Somehow, we're talking to Demario Davis in break, and he's, oh, I'm here. I'm, this is a boss day for me. <laughs> this soft-spoken man comes in the table. That's the same person on that yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. Thank you. The it's Saints an honor are to be in here. California for training mm -hmm. camp. So, and now we, how, just walk us through. Your, where are you right now, and why are you in our studio this morning? Yeah, so we're, we're, we're down in, uh, Newport Beach and yep. uh, practicing at, at Irvine and uh, it's an off day and so uh, when well, man with six kids you got to work. <laughs> Put the work <laughs> so, in. You've been, in a, you, you've been putting in a lot of work for a very long time man but we got we got to talk about the speeches man we saw some good speeches uh, but your speech right there was so was so it just brought me back because mm -hmm. not every player has the ability to sit in that huddle and actually do a, a pregame speech like that. Where does it where, where does it come from? Are you freestyling? Are you in your room the night before going, <laughs> I'm going to get these. Oh, I'm going to get them with this one. Like, yeah. talk about that. <laughs> Man, it, it, it is it is a science to it. Um, number one, you got to get in character. And so to get in character may take a week. It may take a night. You know, it just can't be the day of. Mm -hmm. And so getting in character is like, you're trying to get into the the spirit of like Leonidas getting ready to go into battle, or like mm. your, 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 your you Maximus, already. Maximus Aurelius, yeah. you know, getting ready to go yeah. into gladiator mode. And so that's that's the first part is like getting into character, and then it's being able to recognize the moment. So it could be like the first game of a season, it could be a playoff game, it could be a critical game versus a rival. So you got to be able to recognize the moment, and then. You, the main thing is being able to connect with your audience. Mm -hmm. And so in New Orleans, you kind of got two audiences. You have your, your, your teammates who are getting ready to go into battle with you, but it's also like the city. You got to engage the city. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, in New Orleans, the city, the city and the players, you know, and the team, we breathe as one. It, so wow. you have to be able to think about all of that. You just made this an art. I didn't know it was an art. I, I will Great. say I had one bad experience where I had a guy come on, I won't say his name, and he tried to give a motivational speech. <laughs> And it literally brought us down, like, get this dude out of the oh, huddle. No. Oh, my goodness. It was so bad. Though. I mean, I grew. I grew. So when I was in New York, when I was in New York my rookie year, in the locker room, you know, Coach had just said a few things. We were just kind of sitting around. And I, I was like, man, I'm going to jump up and motivate my teammates. And so I got up and I said a few words. And literally, I saw some of my teammates just put their headphones back on. <gasps> As, that uh, could have deterred you, and it did not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, shut up, Ricky. Oh my God. Shut up, Ricky. And I, 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 now, now I'm 13 years in. I get it. Yeah. I'm like, I, I definitely would put my headphones on if a rookie jumped up and started oh. trying to talk and motivate. But I didn't understand that I was coming from high school being the man. I was coming from college being the man. And so yeah, that was that could have deterred me. Yeah, but, but it did. Yeah, if, if at first you don't succeed, try it again. Try yeah. for 13 yeah. years. For 13 yeah. years, Kyle. <laughs> But also, the Mario, what we do in life echoes in eternity. I know you know that, and I love that you are here this morning. I love you're with us. You mentioned getting into character. What about someone who never gets out of character? We, ha we had a clip this weekend. This is hot off the presses. Your former teammate in New Orleans, Jameis is, is one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And Jameis has given this speech to his new team in the preseason. We're just going to roll the video. I want you to take it in. We want your thoughts after. Go ahead. Come on, Jamie. You gonna 
That's a beautiful dream. <laughs> all right, we're all we're loving it. We're smiling. We're ready to play, Demario. You know this guy. You mm -hmm. know this this medium of art. What did you think about what you just saw? Man, first of all, when we talk about James, James is my favorite teammate of all time, and I've had, <gasps> I have a lot of wow. I played with a lot of guys that I that love I absolutely that. love. James is my favorite teammate of all time, unquestioned. I mean, what you see is what you get. First of all, we got to talk about. That's probably the uh, most improved speech giver of all time. <gasps> most improved? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, 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 let's talk about it. Let's Take talk us about back. It. Take let's us back, about Mario. It. Now, Go on. Let's Go on. not act like everybody was all hype about the eating the W's. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start there. Go on. Okay. And then look with what's trans the yeah, transformation. Yeah, sure. Look yeah. at the transformation. I mean, that, A, number one. The energy was unreal. Yep. I mean, he started it mm -hmm. with great character. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, think about the opportunity. Okay. The first thing about a speech, you want to be brief. So you got to get to it. You can't give a whole simple monologue. Message. You got to be simple. He did that. Look at how the teammates are engaged. Yeah. And he, he started yeah. a chant. Yeah. Like, freestyled a chant. <laughs> so that's connection. Now, I don't know about the spelling. I, I probably, I, I probably would have. <laughs> only yeah, James can pull that off. <laughs> Only Jameis <laughs> can pull that off. Uh -huh. I mean, hey, look, round of applause, round of applause. Oh, that, was, that was top of the line. That was top so of the line. So good. Oh, man. It's a breakdown of a breakdown. Demario, so your thoughts on that happening on August 11th? <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. Too early? Uh -oh. Too early in the preseason? <laughs> no, no. I think if you look at he just got to a new team, mm. it talks about his leadership ability. Okay. Mm. How do you go to a new team and they have you out front right away as the man giving the speech? Uh -huh. it's, never, it's, 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 it's never too early for that, for your leadership to be on display. And that's, that's the type of person that Jameis is. You know, I mean, number one player coming out of high school, first overall pick, has had all different type of things happen in his career, and he just keeps rising to the top. Mm -hmm. Cream always rises to the top. I'm proud of my guy. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. You know, th that speech it. did give me a little remember the Titans feel, too. Like, I mean, he had the whole <laughs> thing going like this. And he just So he, he he brought the energy. I think it was the energy that sells. Because you're sitting there, you're getting ready for battle. Like, you need that energy. You know what yeah. I mean? He brought that energy. Well, I mean, if you catch Jameis, he also got, like, this little rhyming streak that he got going on. He had the press conference. <laughs> <laughs> and when Deshaun is old, he's old. I just made a rhyme. And then he was like, we a team, all right? I had this in my dream, all right? You got to catch it. See, oh. he, 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 he dropped little oh, bars yeah. in there. I said, okay, okay. Uh, the Browns dream. didn't flow. <laughs> the Browns, no. uh, it's hard to make the Browns work. He's like, B-R-O-W-N. I was like, no, nah, that. But he made it work. Because he, he, only Jameis. Yeah. Only Jameis. He did get the commitment for the team. Yeah. And, like, if there is an inch of cringe, then everyone's putting their headset on. But that's yeah. not how that worked here for Jameis. Demario Davis in studio with us for the whole hour on GM.